Well, hey there. Well, hey there. There's me twice. There's me. I forgot to uh, mute over on the uh, Twitch channel, the old Twitcheroodle. I um purchased something after not much provocation and I'm going to open it on this live stream <laughs> I'm this is a really stupid impulse buy and I don't think I regret it I'm pretty sure I don't regret it I'm pretty amused by it. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to finish my socials. One second. Ooh! Oh, that's very toasty, isn't it? I have my cup of tea. My plan is to open this box. Hi, Protoss. Hi, Surma. Uh, my plan is to open this box um, and then play some Stardew. Uh, so know that that's the plan. <laughs> oh, Lord. Jade! <laughs> Happy six month uh subversary. Thank you for the tier one support. Ah six months I'm so trouble <laughs> I'm a Jer. Hi Resnick. Uh if it was the Kirby Automaton, no need for any regret. It was not, but I was very tempted um to get that one. Uh honestly, if I ever get that one, I'm just going to learn like the music for Gregorian chants and then do like the Poyo Poyo cult <laughs> thing. Uh, it would be really stupid, but the Kirby ones were like a hundred dollars and that was, that was just too much for me. Two hundred dollars or a uh, hundred dollars is too much for an automaton. Oh my goodness. Hi everyone. <laughs> I was not expecting uh, so many people to be present. Hello. Uh, oh golly, I hope I didn't just ruin the thing. I might I might have. Switch that, the, the, you still need a theme song? Late night with the Balrog? <laughs> I could see it, I could see it. Chat's still working, right? Okay, great, okay, good. I have it popped out, but I refreshed it because um, I wanted to make sure it was still there. Jesus, a hundred dollars. Let me guess, scalpers. No. So the Kirby one, um, when they're like the the fancy ones, like the officially licensed ones, they have to pay a lot extra because of the licensing fees. So some of those are just like really expensive. The Gudetama one was um, like forty bucks, but I had saved up thirty eight dollars worth of Amazon points. Um, so <laughs> this was two dollars for me. <laughs> Which is why I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's fine. I can, I can deal with that. Um, so yeah, I'm actually very anxious to open this box. I hope it comes with batteries, because if it doesn't come with batteries, then I'm going to be like, yay, it's here, and I can't use it at all, uh, which would be really silly. Hi, everyone. Hi, ramen lover. Hi, pizza cat. So what is Otomatone? We'll get there in just a second. Oh, bye, Jane. <laughs> Go to sleep. I hope you get some sleep. Uh, Mailer Born, it is here. <laughs> okay, I got my friend one for a birthday. You love it. I hope so. Maybe I'll make a theme song with the Atomatome Burke. Uh, hi, Dust Ninja. Wow, I was just watching the past stream. Oh, hey! <laughs> well, it is the adorable Cynthia. Uh, Surma Parleth, hi! Oh my goodness, just hung out with a friend of mine after work. Oh, good. Amazon has a point system. Yes, it does. Amazon has a point system. Well, I have the Amazon like store card. Um, so, uh, it's, um, it has like a points reward system where when you use the card to buy Amazon things, it like feeds into itself. So then you get points back for your purchases. So I had saved up like $38 worth. Um, batteries not included. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to have to go look. All right. I'm going to open this and I bought a box cutter just for this reason. Here we go. I'm very excited right now. All right. 
this. I'm sorry, this is probably gonna be a little louder than I thought. <gasps> <gasps> they sent me the wrong one! I'm not mad because it's really cute. <laughs> ah. I can't read that. Can't feel my face. Thank you for the follow. Well, I got the Agretzico one. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can open this because they sent me the wrong one. <laughs> no! <laughs> I got Gunetama and they sent me Agretzico instead. Oopsie. Oh, Dust Ninja, thank you for the thousand bits. Oh no, I got distracted by a sudden Caitlyn stream and I dropped my large jar of bits all over the floor. What a wacky day, how embarrassing, whoa. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you for the bits. Dang, I mean, okay, she's really cute. Shout out to uh, Erica Mendez right now. <laughs> but <laughs> not what I ordered. <laughs> oh no. Hype train is close. Oh my gosh, they're really doing that now? I thought that was just supposed to happen on its own. That's funny. I'm a child of 70s. That uh, every Sunday mo Saturday morning commercial. Oh, the battery is not included. Yeah, th this does it choose the right size. Ah. Batteries are not included. <laughs> so I couldn't play it anyway. Oh. Amazon, you have failed me. This is not good, Tama. My child! Where is my child? Wow. Uh, so, the idea of the automaton is when you squish its mouth and then you put your finger on the bar and slide up and down, it will, like, play a tone and then based on where your finger is on the bar, it changes its tone. Um, uh, and when you have the mouth open, it's, like, how loud the sound is, my understanding is. Um, so, uh... Yeah, this is just supposed to be a fun little, like, it just does the little mwah, that kind of thing. That's what it's supposed to do. But I don't have batteries, and it's the wrong one, so I can't open it, because if I open it, they may not take it back. Um, gee, what's next, a theremin? You know, I've been curious about theremins. Uh, <laughs> you bought an anime slide whistle? Kind of, except it's battery powered, not wind powered. And um, I have to squish its face to get it to play anything. But this doesn't have batteries in it. And I'm gonna have to tell them it's the wrong one. Which makes me so sad. Um, it was, it was, um, it was $40. So it was, uh, like, these are not cheap. This is not a cheap toy, um, but I was actually intending on doing some, like, music stuff with it <laughs> just for the funds. Um, but yeah, I'll have to email Amazon and see if um, I can get the one that I ordered because <laughs> this ain't it. Uh, $40. Is that the jumbo one? No, it's not. Uh, well, so I also, I said this earlier, but I had Amazon points saved up. So I had like $38 worth of Amazon points saved up. So even with taxes and everything, it only cost me like $2 to get it. But then they sent the wrong one. So now I can't even play it. I was so excited to get to play this on stream. I had been listening uh, to Country Roads for like days. <laughs> so that, cause I can, I have relative pitch so I can like find the notes. Um, cause I have a background in music as well. Um, so I was hoping I could just like get on here and like figure out how to play country roads, but Amazon ruined it. Amazon, how could you? It's okay. I'll figure it out. Uh, well, but yes, this is an automaton. Um, I love these things. They're stupid and fun. Um, it's kind of like how, uh, like I love the rabbit, uh, Hey Mr. Rabbit here on Twitch. I think he's streaming right now actually. Uh, but he has like kazoos randomly. I love that. I love having a silly little instrument nearby. I actually have my like electric bass over there. Um, but a string has been broken for a long time and I haven't fixed it. Um, oh, well, I really, I love a Gretzko though. Um, I remember being in Japan and seeing the commercials for Gretzko and the anime was coming out over there. Um, so. Oh my god, I don't even know the full song. 
That's quite an ask. Uh, let me see. Let me look up the lyrics. I don't think I even know. Uh... Just because I feel like I've failed on those so many times, I'll try. I'll try some of it. I'm not going to do the whole thing because that's like a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of singing to do. What kind of bass is it? Um, let me find... <laughs> no worries, Majeur. My bass is over here. One sec. So I have a Traben. Ooh, ha, ha, oh my god. I have a Traven. Here we go. This is uh, my base. Oopsie, I clicked the wrong thing. This is my base. This is my Traven. I've had this since I was like in middle school, I think. Um, I was uh, in a band. I played upright bass for like eight years, something like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I played on a CD. There's like a CD out there. I got played to, I was doing studio sessions and stuff. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Dolgan. Oh, thank you for the tier one sub. All about that bass, no treble. I know. Uh, yes, it is a five string. It's a five string tray, and these things are like 10 or 15 pounds. They're very, very heavy. Um, they're very, uh, <laughs> a lot of fun to perform with for a long period of time. They get very heavy. Um, Sit that down. I can't, I'm still like grieving over not having my Gudetama, but I would have had to get batteries anyway, which I don't presently have in my hands. Um, harder to avoid story stuff than I thought. Oh, I'm sure. Maybe the chorus. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I pulled that out. Let me think. It's hard to do a southern southern accent. Cynthia, when she speaks in a southern accent, is very sweet and smooth and a little bit smoky. Uh, let me see if I can sing in this. I don't sing a lot lately, so I'll give it a whirl. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. <laughs> Uh, Nara's voice. Oh, you gotta use, you have to do the, uh, the character, the character one, Protoss. There you go. <laughs> I can feel myself, I get a little, I get a little, like, nervous. Oh my god, Puddin's voice? In, dude. Uh. Puddin's voice is, like, way up here. She talks in that way, high voice. Almost a little bit like a Harley Quinn, but not so much in that kind of cadence where Harley Quinn talks in that kind of voice, you know? Um, are we just going to finish this song? <laughs> All my memories gather round her. Miner's lady, stranger to blue water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky. Misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country road. <laughs> I'm sorry, my voice is not warmed up at all. <laughs> Put in place Fallout 76. Oh my lord. Yeah, and Nara's voice is like in that... Uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's like the end of the day and my voice is so tired and I did not warm up before any of that. Ooh, what was that? Oh, Dust Ninja. 
Thank you for the 100 bits. Caitlin, you're too talented. I could never sing a voice act at the same time. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I'm working on it. I haven't started any singing lessons, if I'm going to be real honest. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> Dolgan. <laughs> thank you for the 1,000 bits for the beautiful singing. You know what? You guys are being very kind about it. So, Protoss, I will sing in Nara's voice for you. If I can. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, hang on, my hair is floofing. It's getting very warm in my room, but I'm also embarrassed because I don't sing very much. Uh, let's see. Uh, honestly, I was watching The Kingsman, which is why, uh, in his M, thank you for the bit. Um, oh, what was it? Shouldn't hang around actually at work. Oh my lord. Protoss. How's your day been? I got my new Xbox. Also, yay. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much. Um, heck yeah on the new Xbox. Ooh. <laughs> Who did that? NSM. Thank you for the host. Um, I'll just sing the chorus twice in Nara's voice because I honestly don't, I don't know that, um, I, I don't know that last verse very well. <laughs> Thank you, Dolgan, for the train. Okay. Nara's voice is more in, like, this kind of range, where she talks. It's, like, a little bit younger. Perish and support, Caitlin. Perish! <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits. Um, let's see. I'll try that second verse again, because I wasn't very good on the first one. <laughs> Like gal, thanks for the follow. Okay. All my memories gather round her. Miner's lady, stranger to blue water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky. Misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye. Country roads, take me home. To the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. There you go. <laughs> I tried. My singing is not amazing. I need to work on it. I know. It's, I'm not a bad singer. Um, but I'm around a lot of musicians, a lot, who are very, very, very talented. So it, um, I judge myself very harshly for my singing. <laughs> Thank you, Pizza Cat. Uh, I always, um, a friend of mine, Will Wells, he, he works with some really just phenomenal musicians. So when I hear my own voice, I'm like, ah, oh, blah, oh, blah, oh, blah. No, <laughs> it's not that great. Um. Oh, thank you guys. You're very sweet. The, the, like, I really actually do want to do covers. It, I just have this, um, aversion. I, I, I think I'm not very good with singing, so I just don't. <laughs> but, you know, I'll get there eventually. It's all a matter of time, you know? I've also just been primarily focusing on my acting lately. So I'm trying to be very good at acting and then I'll focus on my voice and everything else. Okay, I'm gonna make myself small now because I do want to, better than me when singing in a character's voice. <sighs> I almost spilled my tea. Dolgan, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Probably not a good singer, but I keep trying. Hey, that's how I feel. So we're in, you're in like-minded company. Um, okay. If it's cool with y'all, I'm going to play a little Stardew. Um, I should... When I say should, I say... Uh, <laughs> get all tiny. Um, I really want to do more song things. Pardon me while I shift around the screen. Woo! No, come back. My face, come here. Oh, no. Hey, face. There you are. 
Okay, great. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to... I don't know where I should put my face for this thing. Uh, let's do this. Stardew, back to Nara's farming simulator. Yay, Stardew, I should fire it up after dinner. Yes, you should. Stardew is a great game. Okay. Thank you, guys, for um, being with me while I discover <laughs> Amazon's failure. It's still very cute. I love a Gretzko, but um, I want a Gudetama. Gudetama is my BB. I have a cupcake that's lip balm of Gudetama. I ha on my keychain is Gudetama. Um, yeah. Oh, goodness, yeah. Definitely go to sleep, Protoss. Good golly. Oh, goodness. Good night, Protoss. Thank you for swinging by, and thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate you very much, and we'll see you on the next one. Dust Ninja Kanji, thank you so much for the 1,100 bits. <laughs> okay, nearly got caught by a manager, so running away. Okay, bye, Dolgan. Thank you so much for all the support, and take care of yourself, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, I have so many farms. This is the one that I use for uh, just streaming on my lonesome. Mm. I said this on Twitter, but for those that didn't see, I'm having a, a, a reaction to the vaccine where like the lymph node in my armpit um, is acting up, which is weird. It's like very poofy. Um, and I panicked at first because I was like, oh my god, I'm dying. But then uh, I did some research and they were like, no, it's, you know, if you got a shot on your arm, the closest lymph node is going to be the thing that swells up because your immune system is reacting to it. Um, so, yeah. I've lost track of time. Is a fallout session with Lanny this week or next? Um, I think that's actually... That would be, oh golly, why isn't that in here? I think that's actually next week. Yeah, I rip up papers into little fourths and then I put my to-do list on them for every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's actually next week because I had to skip this past weekend. Yeah, that's totally right. Um, I had to skip this past weekend because I had work, um, which I don't normally have on the weekends. Uh, I have not read Trail of Blood. Did you get your second shot or just the first? I got the Johnson & Johnson, so I will be cleared by the end of this month. Um, but that does mean that I'm getting all of the effects all at once, like now, now, now. So, yeah. Thought I'd ask. Work's been crazy. Hey, no worries, CJs. Uh, yeah, no worries. <laughs> I feel that. Uh, okay. Greetings! It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, trout soup. Here's something about fresh-caught trout that gets me buzzing. Maybe it's the subtle taste of the river. At any rate, I've got a wonderful trout soup recipe to share with you today. You learned how to cook trout soup. Remember to drink a lot of water early on. Speaking of which, hydrate. Oh, thank you. I have my giant-ass mug of tea with me today. It contains sleepy time tea, not night night fuck you juice, but sleepy time tea. <gasps> Pumpkins! Oh, I'm so happy. Look at them. <laughs> I'm bringing my sword out. What, 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 what? What does that sound? Trail of Blood is super creepy. It's about a kid who's bullied by the cousin and the kid's mother pushes the cousin off a canyon because she's a crazy mom. Now the kid has to hide what the mom did from the rest of the family. Good God. That's a lot. Hi, what is the fallout session? Hey, sketchy Benito. Uh, so the fallout session every other Saturday, if you go to twitch.tv slash the unexpectables, um, I am part of a fallout inspired campaign called Gateway. Um, I play a synth named Cynthia, uh, relation or not. Uh, you'll find out in the campaign. But yeah, we go every other Saturday. So it's not this Saturday, but it's uh, next. And we start at um, 6 p.m. PS... Is it 6 p.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. PSC. I was thinking about when I normally try and start thinking about the call. Yeah, it's next week. So next Saturday, twitch.tv slash the unexpectables. And I'll be over there. Oh my gosh. I am what I am. 
Hi, Frodo. Love you too. You look so happy. What's this sludge? Oh, it's a oh, it's a mushroom. Hi. I got some graps. What? What do you mean? I keep forgetting that there's not like a run function. I feel like there should be. Um. Take this fish and these things. <laughs> my goodness. I'm nervous to get my vaccine too, not gonna lie. Hey, Desinja, I get you. I totally do. But at this point, so many people have gotten it that like, they're, they're gonna know what to do if something went wrong and it's probably not going to. Like, you're probably gonna be totally fine. I know it's scary, I was totally scared too, but it's also one of those things that, like, you, like, it's gonna be better to have it than to get COVID. <laughs> That's my opinion on it. I was expo- like, I had the potential for exposure a lot at my day job, and I would rather just be safe. Than, than having to worry about it and stuff, you know? Grape, 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 grape. Grape, grape, grapey, 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 grape, grape. I'ma make some jam. More than likely. And I'll eat it. Once I go in the caves. Now I'm gonna be all sing songy. Whoopy. Oh, I don't know if I said it, but thank you for the bits, Dust Ninja. Someone else told me they have never been more excited to get a fever. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, yeah, it's scary. It's it's scary because it's still kind of unknown. But it's it's been around long enough that, you know, if there were going to be problems, that's why they had test subjects. I actually knew one of the guys who was one of the test subjects for the Moderna vaccine. So, uh, you know. People went through the testing process and we get to benefit from from their experimental nature. I also resigned from my second job at TGI Fridays today. Hey, I don't get to commit myself to voice acting for a second income. There you go. Congrats, Dust Ninja, and thank you for the 101 bits. Oh, I didn't check in there for an egg. But you know what? That's probably fine. I'm gonna some stuff in there <laughs> do, 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 do. Bueno. Mm. yes okay so I'm I don't have eggplants yet do I <gasps> oh my gosh do I not have any eggplants or those eggplants I don't know I want more pumpkins I think did he ever learn if he got the vaccine or a placebo? I don't recall, actually. I'm not totally sure which one, but I just I just know that he was one of the ones that was doing. He was one of the ones doing the testing for it. Oh, did I have a thing in my pockets? Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame because I worked there for six years and got some crazy stories at the restaurant. Like at the time, I thought I'm like I thought I met a French assassin and there were two drunk people banging in the disabled bathroom. Oh, gotcha. That sounds about right. Ooh, goodness gravy. Oh, JP, hi. Thank you for the ten months of tier one subage. I appreciate your support. Ten months, woohoo! Reward. Mail, mail. Oops, did not mean to water your desk. Starfruit seeds, plant in the summer. I can do that. Hey JP, they've been good. Uh, I have been incredibly busy. 
trying to figure out how to have a normal human life <laughs> while working on this project that I'm working on like two different facets of. So it's keeping me swamped. Hey, the grid ball game is on today. Sundays are pretty awesome in the fall. Awesome. His joy brings me joy, you know? Oh, oh. Cutscene, baby. <gasps> Caitlin? You scared me sneaking into my room like that. <laughs> oh, Dust Ninja. Oh, Dust Ninja, Kenji. Goodness. Thank you so much for extending your tier one subscription through June. I didn't even know that was an option. Thank you so much. Adulting does that, when it, but it pays off when you get to live your dreams. It's so true. Parish and support. You weren't kidding. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodness, Gwavy. <sighs> so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours, and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. <laughs> Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Are we bonding? Is this bonding? Are we bonding right now? <gasps> oh shoot, I missed it. I missed it, I missed it. Oh no, I missed it. I missed it. Okay, okay, okay. Where did they come? Ah! I'm gonna get better at this. Oh my god, I don't know what these things are doing, but I'm about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna do this, Abigail! Ah, 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 ah. Oh god, oh god. Don't worry, I'm good at video games, Abigail. Look, I'm a professional. <sighs> oh my god, friendship is happening. Abigail, be my friend! <laughs> Abigail! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here they come! Okay, okay. I shouldn't be freaking out about this. I'm sure if I was calmer, I would be better at this game. <gasps> but I'm not! Ah! Ah! <laughs> How many lives do I have? This is my last life, isn't it? Hey, that was fun! Thanks, Caitlin. Didn't think you'd know how to work a joystick so well, but it seems you're experienced. Hmm. Does she love me now? Does she love me? <laughs> love me! <laughs> oh wait, I have corn already. Five days? Why five days? Wait, don't I have eggplants already? Gonna buy so many of these. Oh my god, I bought way too many. <laughs> oh my god, that was stupid. I don't care, I'm doing it anyway. I mean, it's opening up because I'm on the bottom of the social status poll and being denied for a good while. <laughs> so we are going for Gabigail. I guess so. That was a cutscene. I didn't have a choice. <gasps> Hello. I'm so tempted to just give her mayonnaise. 
I've never been to the forest. It's muddy and I could get a blister on my foot. No! Oh. Kiriguya! Hello. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the 500 bits. Good gravy. It's true. OMG! How you doing? Okay, bye CJs. Get some sleeps. Sorry if I missed you before you went to bed. <laughs> I have given potato. I'm gonna give Haley a pink poof bell flower. Knowing how to jandle a joystick, eh? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my golly! Jordan Goodwin. Thank you. What, the, what is happening? <laughs> Thank you so much for the five tier one gift subs. Enjoy being part of the bosom buddies, y'all. Bell Belzac, Bagel, <laughs> Bagel 19, Otheon, Rob Q S Ranker. Hi, y'all. <gasps> Those are tier two? What the f fuck? Ooh. You're crazy. <laughs> I'm not, that, I'm sorry. That sounds insulting. I'm like, I'm shocked. What? <laughs> my first response is to go, why? Wow! Oh my god! Oh, I've missed you too, Jordan! Oh, thank you so much for five tier two gift subs! You're insane, and thank you! That was very kind of you. Cheers to you, Jordan Goodwin. Cheers to you, Tink. Hmm. Well, thank you very much. It's gonna, um, and I saw someone asked earlier, um, and yes, we did do the unboxing. This is what I pulled out. I ordered an Agudetama one, and they gave me an Agretzko one, so I'm gonna have to email them and be like, you sent me the wrong one, help. Uh, but it is still very cute, and I'm excited to eventually have my instrument and start playing, uh, Country Roads. <laughs> Jeff Vicente told me that he would play a duet with me, so I'm also very excited about that. All right, I have to go plant my eggplants. I was singing Country Roads and character voices earlier. <laughs> Should that black chamomile uh, knock you out the other night? Yes, it did. Jordan, how are you also? I haven't seen, I haven't seen you in a bit. That or yours got mixed up with Erica's. We'll see if she gets good at Tama. Did she get one? Did she? I want Gude Tama. I love Gude Tama. <laughs> Gude Gude. Da 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 I belong West Virginia Mount Mama I I had boba earlier today and I'm still kind of on a little bit of a sugar rush <laughs> from it, not gonna lie. <laughs> Might be having a sugar rush. I wanted boba for over a week before I got um, I like got it. And I didn't take my car out because the check engine light came on and I'm worried about whatever that might be. So <laughs> I hadn't gotten it. But Sarah and I went and got dinner and I was like, can we get Bobo please? Can we stop for Bobo please? So I got some and now I'm all sugared and caffeinated. Sleep is healthy and in this ecosystem it's important to be healthy. It is very important to be healthy. I agree with that statement. Did I water you? Yeah, I did. Frodo, did you make an egg? I want to see Caitlin singing that song with, uh, with the thick Sam Elliott mustache and a cowboy hat. <laughs> that would, that would be within my MO for sure. One day I'll be a mayonnaise magnate. That sounds gross. <gasps> my crab pots. My pets. This is my, oh. Jordan, 
This is my favorite community. I love each and every one of you. Oh, we love you too. I know that you don't have to you don't have to do anything to be part of this community. You just show up. That's it. Show up, don't be a jerk, hang out and chat. That's it. Hmm. I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. Yet. Guess I should try getting patience from the neighboring towns. I'm working on it. Hey, here's to another good week. Here's to another good week. Oh, not, what did I? My fingers are not in the right place. Hello, um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Sorry. Oh, you're doing your best, Penny, it's okay. I like to think I'm not a jerk. You are not a jerk. I am drinking sleepy time tea. That is the one I am drinking. Jordan, did you answer earlier and I didn't see you? Okay. No, no, no. <gasps> a shell. It's very exciting. Well, it's a clam. I'm sorry. I see a shrimp and some old glasses. Don't I turn the glasses into refined glass, don't I? In one of the refiner thingies. I don't have any spruce. Oh, I just spit on my keyboard. I'm gonna go sell these real quick. Do 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 do. Oh, I can't. It's later than I thought it was. You want a clam? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give you crab. A gift, thanks. That's not the voice I would normally give him, but that's what I have. It's so windy here today. Oh, well, okay. Guys, Caitlin just gave Willy crabs. <laughs> no. I did. I I did. I did do that. But one, I gave him crab, not crabs. There's no plural there. Lol, I can't have a night shift tonight. Uh, whoops, missed the door. Oh, sleep schedules are so hard. Putting on a little promotion for fun. A thousand pieces of wood in a week and then a reward. I like to imagine Kayla running to Abigail, like Fluttershy and MLP scream, Ye you are going to love me! <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits. Oh, dining on fresh artichoke. A hundred artichokes? Is that even a thing? I can't a hundred artichokes. That's insane. Are artichokes even in season right now? I guess I'll find out tomorrow. The shop will be open, right? Right? Listen, sometimes we don't know about the dangers of crabs. <laughs> it's true though. You don't know about the dangers of crabs. Ugh. Mernaz. It was done so quickly. Why didn't it make gold mayo? I thought it was supposed to. Pardon me. Excuse me again. Uh, I'm gonna give those flowers to people. I wonder if... I mean, since Abigail seems to like us already, I'm fine pursuing her. can't sleep so I return. Hi CJs. Well if you pass out while I'm streaming that's more than okay. This is definitely like chill stream zone. So whatever you need to do to sleep by all means please do it. Something that I found uh, for everyone if you have issues sleeping like when I can't turn my brain off I actually do this breathing exercise um that has helped me because like sometimes you need a way to like calm yourself down 
Um, so what the, the, the breathing technique is, um, so you breathe in very deeply, like as full as you can possibly get your lungs and you hold that breath for like four seconds. I usually go by my heart beating four times if it's going slow. Um, so you do that 11 times and it feels like an eternity and you're like, God, this is stupid. But then you start getting to those last few breaths and you actually get an oxygen high and it calms you down um, and starts shutting your brain off a little bit, which super works. Or at least helps. It doesn't work every time, but it does help a lot. <sighs> oh shit, I managed to finally be around when Caitlin streams. Hi, Sadworm. Oh, Caitlin's likely to pass out, not physically, just in the game of carelessness and wa not watching the time. Oh, that's very likely. Very likely. Just cleaning up the lake. Lure by lure. Sometime when I leave to go to work, I leave one of your vids on so my puppy has something to listen to. Although I don't always do it because I don't want her to associate your voice with me leaving. <laughs> that's fair. I told, <laughs> if any of you know who Erica Harlicker is, I think she knows this. Be yeah, I definitely told her at one point. I house sat for her, Erica Harlicker, at one point, and <laughs> I'll read that one second. Um, I house sat for her and watched her dog Gus for like two weeks, and he was just being a butt the whole time. And I got like so frustrated with her dog that when I had to leave and go do something for a little bit, um, I would turn on Naruto because I know that she hates it <laughs> to train her dog to love Naruto. <laughs> Even though that definitely didn't happen, but I was just like, I'm so tired of you. Ah! He was just being a butt. That's that's as aggressive as I as I got. Your voice is actually getting me through my workout at the gym. Hey! Huh, I usually turn on Bob Ross. I have such a strange... Uh, s the, 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 the. I have such a strange... Strange associ... Why can't I say that? I have such a strange association with Bob Ross. Um, my... My very first roommate... Hi, Denier. Nope. <laughs> um, my very first roommate... Um, went on a Bob Ross marathon while she was doing oil painting, but she like forgot to open the windows. So she actually ended up having hallucinations and we had to take her to the ER and we thought she was dying. <laughs> um, so every time I think of Bob Ross, I think of going to the emergency room <laughs> for hallucinating. <laughs> I love Bob Ross. We watched Bob Ross for like months, but that's like my association. Bob Ross, emergency room time. Thinking that you have a, a, a that you're dying. Uh, she was using oil-based paints. So, I mean, they were, they were fumes galore. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Got any tappers, crafty foragers known how to build them? You can attach them to wild trees that grow all over. Maple trees yield maple syrup, oak trees provide resin, and pine trees produce pine tar. Syrup's the most valuable of all tree products, but all tree products have their uses. <laughs> uh, wait, that's a thing. Sneakatoke, yes. Oil-based paints, you have to be in a ventilated room. Like, acrylics are just, you're literally, like, painting with liquid plastic and it dries very quickly. Oil-based paints do not dry. Um... They have those oils in them and um, you will, you will, the fumes from that paint, because it takes literally like two weeks for that paint to dry. The fumes will literally mess with your brain. <laughs> so make sure you're in a ventilated space if you're going to use an oil-based paint. Um, now I need some paint. No, that is not what I'm applying here. Spooky Bob Ross hallucinations of doom. Lil. Dustin and Jikenji, thank you for the 200 bits. I cannot believe Erica's dog is now a Naruto fan. <laughs> Did you come back to the dog wearing the lead village headband and kunai in their mouth? No, but it wouldn't surprise me. Just happy little hallucinations. <laughs> That's with a K, Erica. Yes, yes, yes. 
Sounds su like super good ventilation is just as important for oil painting as painting minis. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There's a reason huffing paint is or was a thing. Very true. Yeah, when you're in a small space, it's just like impossible. And we were in a, <laughs> the first apartment I lived in, it was a very small space. Oh, my meshies. I got some pumpkins and some carns. I like it when they do it like right in a row and it makes a bunch of pleasing sounds one after the other. Bless sound develop sound designers in games. Just bless them. Dear Caitlin, I just want to remind you that the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Remember the fair starts at nine in the town square. See you there? Oh no! I don't know if I'm ready for that. What do I even have? Rain's fire. Hey, thank you for the hundred bits. I'm having a good night. I I got my otom I got my otomatone. It is not Gudetama. It is a Gretzko, which is not what I ordered. But we'll figure that out tomorrow. But it's very cute, and I'm excited to play my instrument soon. Um, just trained to raid Area 51 with a Naruto run. Lol. Moves into her new apartment with her son and their new life begins. Oh, congrats, JP. I hope that ends up being a very positive experience for them. You know, big moves like that can be rough. Quality. Ooh, do I have pumpkins now? Do I have enough pumpkins? Wait, why did I go away from that? No? Hey. Oh, so I need five pumpkins star pumpkins which I have now okay great carns silver yam mushrooms just stay with stuff with the gold uh, star or higher as long as you don't repeat items you should be fine I hope so um, not that though I think I have plenty of stuff. I've saved... <laughs> I'm a hoarder. I'm, I hoard my stuff so bad. She started off the year divorcing her husband because she really went off... Because he went off the douche canoe deep end. Hey, I feel that. My first roommate was actually going through... And I had lived in a 400 square foot apartment with a roommate who was going through a divorce. I was there the day she went to her court hearing. So i feel for that it is a rough road and i hope that things get happier for them soon and it sounds like they've already started on their way there so good progress enamel paints need ventilation acrylic doesn't really yeah oh no acrylic doesn't really need anything because it dries so quickly I used the paint. There are pictures of my painting somewhere. I've done so much art. Oh! <laughs> Have you ever read The Disaster Artist? Whoops. Uh, the book about the making of the room. Uh, I got the audiobook narrated by the guy who played Mark. I have not. I heard about... Because James Franco did Disaster Artist, the movie, right? And that was based off the book, I believe. Um, I haven't even seen the room. I mean, if I'm quite honest, I don't know if I want to, but I know that, like, pop culture shall dictate at some point that I check it out. But I'm not, like, gunning to go see it, you know? What did I need to get? They wanted, like, a thousand artichokes. I just don't see that happening, but I can try. Then Franco overstepped. Tommy was out at the awards, did he? I missed all of that. <laughs> I know that there was some kind of beef that happened. Which doesn't surprise me. Creative people stepping on other creative people's toes just happens. Whether or not they mean to sometimes. Turned out fine. Okay. <laughs> the room. Spooky. Only a hundred artichokes, not a thousand, so not so bad. You are correct. It's not that bad. Oh, I should go to the uh, 
the store, I suppose. Why aren't these star jellies? Aren't these supposed to, like, turn out gold star jellies or something? Or am I crazy? <gasps> oh my goodness. Hi, Midnight. Hi, Raiders. Oh. <laughs> Row the bard! Hey, whoa, sorry, that moved. Everything's moving. <laughs> Hi, Raiders. Hey, Rabbit. Hi, everyone. Oh, I put the alert box right over my face, didn't I? Look at that. <laughs> X Bloody, thank you for the follow. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh,. Mr. Insecure, thanks for the follow. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little thing in the chat really quick, which I need to update. Uh, I'm a voice actress. Uh, if you know Rabbit, Alucard Truvy, thank you for the follow. If you know Rabbit, then you might already be watching Gateway that happens every other Saturday. Um, I voice Cynthia, the uh, Southern Belle kind of synth bot. Uh, who plays with him uh you mean you're not a monster taco i'm not i know it's crazy um but yeah uh voiceover wise you've heard me in monster hunter rise that just came out i'm voice type 19 for the hunter um so if you're making a character that's me um i'm oh my god i blanked on literally everything that i've done Adela in Eternal Return Black Survival, Mighty Cupid Mage in Smite, the skin that just came out a little time ago. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 100 bits. Hope you're having a good evening. I am. Um, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Dust Ninja, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, actually, if you need another game to play, I have a fun and cheap one you may like. Have you played Yogg? I have not. Alucard Truvy, thank you for the hydrate. I have a big ass mug of tea that has sleepy time tea in it. Hi, Churu. And Churu is the Lord and Savior Kirby. <laughs> oh, thank you for the posture check. Um, something that did happen today is I got a new Gretzko Otomaton. Uh, I was supposed to get the Gudetama one, but they sent me this one. So we're going to see what happens. Um... We'll see. I'm very excited about this. I want to do a cover. I was singing Country Roads earlier, but that's what I want to play on this. Um, oh my gosh, I love that cup. <laughs> uh, yes, I was in Genshin, Imp uh, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact as well. I voiced Donna, the flower girl. I voiced um, Gotland, the nun who gives the venti a what for. Um, Alfrey, a couple other people as well. Um, Hi, Cheru. Um, oh my lord, I'm very warm, sorry. Raids always make me panic for some reason. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Ay, 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 ay. That's, I always click the wrong thing. So, uh, what I'm doing here is just playing some Stardew Valley. <laughs> That's it. Oh my gosh, wearing the same shirt. Oh, the Sega shirt from E3? I know. I Did you go to the uh, little Sega thingy? I'm on a podcast called Nerd on the Podcast, and we went to E3 um, for uh, uh, the podcast so we could talk about it and stuff. I did, yeah! Heck yeah, Sega buddies. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Oh, Black Blackma Ferret, hi! Thank you for the tier one sub. Happy six month subversary. Thank you for being part of the Bosom Buddies. Yogg is a choose your own adventure text and hand drawn game where four characters in Medieval Village seek their live their lives and gain stats depending on your choices. Oh, that's cool. 40 minutes per game. That makes me think like, I used to play this game uh, that I found through Albino Black Sheep a million years ago called Adventure Quest. And um, that's making me think of that like a lot. <laughs> artichokes aren't here. I'm never going to find artichokes. Only grows fruit in the fall. 
bare tiles must be empty. Catalog. Whoa, that's so expensive, but I guess not really. Oh, just kidding. It's really expensive. <gasps> yep. Rip Flash. Haven't heard that name in years. I know, Albino Black Sheep. <laughs> I know, Albino Black Sheep. What was the other one? There was another one. Um, I can't remember it. I mean, there was Newgrounds, of course. Flash sites, yeah, I know. Going to Homestar Runner and watching all the videos. I forget who I was talking to about that not too long ago. I don't think I'm gonna get yeah, they don't have artichokes. I can't do that. I'm like in the middle of fall. I should really be like growing more stuff. Um, Cranberry seeds, seven days. Sure. Why not? Hi, Marnie. I just love animals, Miss Caitlin. Treat them kindly and we'll become friends, I'm sure. Hi, Abigail. I need to stretch my legs and get some fresh air today. Me too. Let's be friends. Yeah, and the pre, uh, the early pre-YouTube thousands. E-bombs. E-bombs world. That was one too. Probably Connor. <laughs> oh, from, from Connor? Jib jab. Oh my god. Did it go down in flames? What happened there? Oh, hey. Are you making new friends with anyone in town? Bye. <laughs> okay. Here, be my friend. Thanks. I really like this. Become my friend. This is how friendship works. Thank you. This looks special. Hi. Um, are you doing okay? I feel so... She is so sad. I don't want her to be. Haha, you thought I was gonna go to the bridge, but I wanted this Blackberry instead! <laughs> it's only 10 bucks on Steam. I have so many games on Steam that I haven't played yet. <sighs> Whoa! Worm party! Worm party! It's just dirt. Dirt party! <laughs> Hello, Sigil. I bet that Sigil's name is Jason. That was a very dumb joke and I'm very proud of myself. Sorry, not sorry. Ah, Caitlin, help. I feel old with all these references. How do you think I feel? Actually, I don't feel old. Age is relative. Well, no. Age is... You only care if you care, you know? I don't, so I don't. I'm actually kind of happy to not be like a teenager anymore. My teen years sucked a lot of butt. Not to say that I didn't have good experiences in that time of life, but... who, buddy! There were some rough times. Big mood. <laughs> I miss the shark squad. We are still playing Surma on Fridays at twitch.tv slash nerdon. Uh, we're actually playing Valheim right now. And it is the shark squad. I think Connor's actually going to uh, join us um, soon. I think this Friday he was actually talking about um, playing with us. Although, as my uncle, my nephew does like to call me out, what is this? <laughs> I think I'm gonna spend the winter, since I can't do any crops, and that's actually coming up very soon. Um, I'm gonna spend the winter doing the caves. Since you can't, you can't do any farming. Awesome, I'm on nights uh, that night, and I'll have to tune in. Yes, please! So just go to twitch.tv slash nerd on and we'll be over there a playing. And it's sounding like it's going to be me, Nick, um, Connor, Bob, and that'll be it. With every year, I appreciate the seasons more and more. 
For young people, it's easy to let them slip by. It's very true. Evelyn is very correct. <laughs> Fall is Abby's favorite season, so I'm hoping she'll come out of her room more often. Did you see my sword? Maintaining a household is difficult work, but somebody has to do it. Yes? Okay. Not friends. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> yep, I'm already following Nerdon. Excellent. I will definitely watch Nerdon for that game. Yeah, so every Friday uh, at 7 or 8 p.m. PST. This week it's probably going to be 8, but we'll see how quickly I get my work done. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, we've been playing Valheim over there for a good minute now, I feel. We've got a uh, Laney home and uh, we started building a base in the swamp, which is like right next to two different biomes. Uh, Bob is already crafting the crap out of everything. <laughs> oh, Bob is so on top of it. it. It hurts my soul. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> I haven't done anything and everything's already done somehow. Do I have... I have to have the stuff. I do. Okay, great. Basic retaining soil. You know what? Great. Ooh! Oh, my heart. Okay. Okay. <laughs> A pack of sky rats, that's what that is. <laughs> Talking about those seagulls before. What does that mean, CJs? Ooh, goats. Monty! Oh my god, Monty, hi! Um, I named, so I named a place Fort Fuck Off in honor of y'all. <laughs> Kiriguya, thank you. Thank you for that homage. I appreciate you very much. Caitlin seeing trying to woo people with her sword reminds me of when I bought my first katana in high school. Uh, sorry if that was too mean. <laughs> no, it's fine. Thank you for the 200 bits. I definitely had swords and was like, I'm the coolest human alive. I wanted swords from the time I was like six. It was actually a running joke in my family that my parents would get me plastic swords when they knew I wanted a real one. All the time I was growing up. Hype box, thank you for the follow. Um, so I was I was always very salty about it, and then when I got old enough, I started buying swords, and then later in life, people just started giving me swords. There's actually a sword sitting by my feet right now. <laughs> it is a practice, like not scimitar. You know what? Here, I have a sword. <laughs> it's literally sitting by my feet at all times. <laughs> It's a practice sword. It's old as heck, and I haven't really used it very much. It's very dull, but it, uh, I have a lot of weapons <laughs> sitting in front. Uh, someday I'll be able to turn, return to, uh, um, uh, combat training. I was doing jujitsu before, but, uh, I got very unhealthy for a while, um, because I overworked myself to almost death and I haven't put any seeds there <laughs> and um and then I had to stop for a while well I also had a concussion and didn't know when that was gonna not be a problem so I just stopped training for a while but it made me sad I still have a school to go back to um and I want to get into motion capture training as well but it's all a process and it's going to take time. Sounds like a real slice of life story. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a really dumb laugh. Chef Bob is always crafting. It's true. Saber. Fallishin. Is it Fallishin? The name of that correctly? Spazwaza. Swords are, objectively speaking... Rad as heck. Yeah, that's true. 
I want that superpower. Just people giving me swords. <laughs> Uh, it has a one-hand blade for home defense. I actually have... What are they called? I don't even remember where I got them from either. Where are they? They're under here too. No, I, I feel like I'm just... I had to rearrange my room recently. But I also have these, which are like... Um, they're like the... Um, they're, these are actually very sharp, so I have to be very careful <laughs> when I open them. Because these are like actually slicey. These are very slicey. The blades are not dull. It's very pointy and very sharp. But I have two of them for like fighting um, like forward. <laughs> I, my words are all extinguished. It's very late. But yeah, I just acquire a lot of weird weapons. Guitar punch blades. There we go. <laughs> Punchy forward. Forward. Forward fighting. You know the style? The style of forward fighting? <laughs> oh, Lord. You have freaking guitar? <laughs> so jelly. Y'all, I got a lot of stuff in my room. My room is tiny but mighty. Uh, okay, I should finish watering these cranberries. Casually pulls out guitars, goes to finish watering cranberries. Just another day. Punchy and splashy. I have a keyblade. Oh, heck yeah. Don't tell Lucian that. Wait, what are we not telling Lucian? I'm telling. <laughs> I'm not Voldo. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. What am I selling? Am I selling anything? You can take that seaweed. Oh. I forgot I have to um, bring things to the thing tomorrow. Because that will be the day. I think I can bring iridium items, right? Like I could bring these... I could bring... Because the, the town festival thing is tomorrow. So if I bring iridium and gold starred things, that would work, right? Like I can bring these two iridium fish and then a bunch of gold starred artisan goods and stuff. <laughs> what if Caitlyn is a custom Soul Calibur character? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not Voldo from Soul Calibur. I don't know what you're talking about. Just saying. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't tell Lucian. From what we've seen so far, Caitlyn has both movesets of Voldo and Ong Young Song from Soul Calibur. I'm not saying that I am or am not, and I will neither confirm nor deny these accusations. That is all. Okay. You go in there for now, because I don't know what to do with you. Uh, I feel like I could fish for something for a hot second. I don't have any artichoke... That's not a fishing rod. I don't have any artichoke seeds, and I don't know how I do that. <laughs> Yay, it's late. I just misplaced my phone in my pocket. <laughs> I missed it. Dust Ninja. Uh, any advice on how to keep your swords from rusting? I have an old... Uh, you Cora sword from Bleach and has rust a lot. Any tips? I thank you for the 200 bits, Dust Ninja. Um, honestly, the only thing I know to do, I have a broadsword sitting somewhere in here too. Um, but you'd have to like, what do we do before? We like, um, we use the, uh, oh my gosh, what is it called? A whetstone. We used a whetstone. And like basically ground off the rust and then you can use like an oil um, to keep the blade but if it's a type of metal like if it's just not a great type of metal you'd have to find some way to like coat it it's with uh, I would some kind of resin maybe I don't know I haven't I haven't done much of that in a very long time um, oh s ranker thank you for the 300 bits hey oh Got free for a bit, and first thing I saw is you holding up a guitar. <laughs> Hi! It's weapons time. 
There are just weapons tucked everywhere in my room. <laughs> you buy artichoke seeds from Pierre in year two. Oh, okay. Uh, do, do a little research, Dust Ninja, because it's also going to come down to, like, can the metal that's on that sword, is that even going to be kosher? I heard Coke helps for cheap swords. Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, like Coca-Cola. Yes, that is probably an option that you could go with. Uh... I haven't done a lot of restoring. I had a I had a friend um, in the way back times when I was making that uh, when Taka uh, Takahata one hundred one did that Loki cosplay. I made his um, staff for that um, with a friend of mine, uh, Paul Clausen, who's really good with woodworking. It was my first big woodworking project. He's a longtime family friend, and he like like bonded over. Um, weapons and blades and how to keep them uh in good condition um and he he was a big proponent of whetstone but uh the whetstone technique and was teaching me about that and sword oil and or blade oil and a lot of different things um but i spent more time working with wood during that trip than i did with blades um and i was doing metal smithing and wood or metal smithing and forging for a long time but I was always working with new, like casting it myself or forging it myself. Um, so it was always new. I never really had to restore anything before. So that's not really in my area of expertise. Coca-Cola or sandpaper by hand. Sandpaper, yeah, sandpaper would work. Probably more effectively than anything else anyway. Oh, you're, why do I always, for, like, why am I always shocked that you're in Australia, Dust Ninja? <laughs> I'm always like, what? wonder if steel wool would work. I don't know. Again, restoration of blades is not what I'm used to. I'm used to forging or welding or that kind of thing. Not Miggertig, just, you know, um, like more jewelry, lining things up, that kind of welding. Not like Miggertig, which is totally different. I have a cast iron shield boss I, would, uh, I never got around to using in a drawer that I've had for around eight years now. Dumped Ikea wood oil on it and seven years ago and it's still not rusted. Yeah, cast iron can live forever. I have not used it myself. I know plenty of people who have, but that's not my thing. If you heard my think Northeast American accent, thick Northeast American accent, you will also be surprised if in Australia. I think I would be. It's an online store, so hopefully. Still, I'm an internet stranger who doesn't use swords, so please don't drop money on my say-so without looking stuff up. Yes, I'm always gonna always look stuff up. Steph, I'm still tickled that we're wearing the same shirt. Oh, okay, jumpy boy. All right, chill, 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 chill. Hey, 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 hey. Let's just calm down. You're probably gonna be a pike, aren't you? You're a pike. I bet you're a pike. A midnight carp. Just kidding. Who are you? So, Caitlin, you're close to home, right? Eh, what do you mean? <clears throat> I'm I'm in my home currently. Yeah, my martial arts skills are busting kneecaps and bows. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, most of the fighting stuff I'm trained in. I did use a bow and arrow. I did train in fencing a little bit. Um, but, like, the longest standing form of training, like, combat training I've done in the past was um, jiu-jitsu. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I was just gaining any kind of proficiency there. I almost got my blue belt. And then I, like, got a concussion and sick and life changed and I had to drop. I would still come back with four stripes, but it would take me, like, like probably six months to get to a blue belt. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's what you meant, like, in the game. Duh. Because, yeah, I'll die. 
He took the midnight car going anywhere. <laughs> Tell me it's gonna be a good day. Mildly perturbed. Luck's not on my side. All right, fine. I'm not gonna do nothing. <laughs> It's Ranker. Was a concussion from a match or something? Um, it was not actually. I, I'm not... Okay, this actually scared me a lot because I don't know what happened. Um, I noticed that my, like, my focus was just really off and I was, like, I couldn't, couldn't form thoughts very easily. I was moving kind of slow and I was hanging out at my friend Rochelle's house and I, like, leaned back. I was, like, playing with my hair behind my head and I felt this, like, bump like not a small bump it was like the size of a ping pong ball sitting at the base of my skull and I like rubbed on it I was like ow that hurts what is that and it turns out that I had like a goose egg a large one on the back of my head um and I had had a concussion for I don't know how long um and I ended up going to the emergency room and they were like yep you got a concussion uh, don't die <laughs> like try and sit in a dark room and don't do a bunch of stuff um and of course my coach like Gabe freaked out um because he was like did you fall did something happen did you hit your head while you were training like he was very he immediately went into like parent mode of like are you okay what happened where did it happen or like what um so yeah it was it was a very uh a scary time because I didn't know what was gonna happen but it all ended up being okay. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I just hit my head a little. Oh, I gotta talk to my chicken. Hi. You look really happy today. You have an egg for me. Thank you. Oh, you have two eggs for me. All right. Two. All right. Don't follow me. Lamp. No. Okay. Yeah, it's... I know I've been told that it's very dangerous, especially in this space that it was. Because, like, if there was any fluid building or anything like that, it could have been pretty bad pretty quick. But I was very fortunate. And everything's fine. <laughs> With that spooky of a concussion discovery, uh, would you even remember when you got it? I don't think so. I I have no idea. Because you have- you can- Like, you hitting your head can be the slightest thing. And it can- it can get bad. Our bodies are very delicate little things. <laughs> We're very easy to injure. <laughs> Sadly. Corns. Bring me your corns. Sorry for dredging up that memory. I once broke my knee and yeah, I got a golf ball knee. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, it's and and no worries, Estranger, for for bringing that up. It's it's not a sore memory or anything. I'm not like, "Oh man, that was, you know, a bad time or anything." It's just a thing that happened. Um and thank you for the 200 bits. Behold, gone. <laughs> I feel you on the knee stuff. I actually had surgeries on both of my knees. My cartilage just ripped like tissue paper. Um, the first time was when I was 12. And the second time was when I was 19. Um, so I literally sat down, stood up, and heard the cartilage in my knee rip. Which was terrifying. <laughs> I am just a... I have a lot of health problems, and I still don't even fully know what they are because doctors have been wholly unhelpful to me over the years. So I've had to trial and error a lot of things in and out of my diet, different exercise things, just to try and figure things out. Uh, I'm finding a lot of success with eating um, gluten-free currently, and I'm keeping that up, and that's been going very well. Um... But, uh, yeah, I don't even know. It could, it could, there could be other things too. Caitlin passed the death save. I know. Gagaram. 
Kukris? I don't know what that is. That's why Nara likes collecting bodies. <laughs> Trying to improve my own. I can see it. Oh shoot, that's right. I gotta get all the gold starred stuff. Like now. One of you, one of you. We're gonna put these up. Uh, we're gonna take one of you, two, three, four, five. Oh shoot, really? That was so quick. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm going too quickly. Worst injury I've ever had was in kindergarten. Shattered my ankle. Oofty. Ow, that sounds really painful. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Let's put this in there. And actually, no, I want to keep that in my inventory. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? That'll be enough, I think. I'm gonna grab one more just in case. What can I grab? What do I have a lot of? Corns? No, I have a gold corn. I have a lot of tomat. No, I have a tomat. No, that's fine. That's fine. Right? Oh, mine were when I was older and both were patella fractures. Oh, my heart goes to US ranker. That sounds so terrible. My husband is amazing at Ryukyu Kempo Karate. Me? I've never gotten above mid belt level colors being in different, in different schools. Yeah. But I got there in three different martial arts. So does that count for something? Oh, that definitely counts for something. <laughs> Dislocated my knee once at work. Freaked people out uh, when it went out and I collapsed out of nowhere. Yep. Your body being like, that's too painful. Go to bed now. Good night. <laughs> oh. Oh, kukri. Okay. I don't know why I was like, I've heard of that before, but my brain was not understanding when I saw it. Okinawan karate lineages were, are very spooky. Leg tilted off to the side and they lost it. Oh, when they straightened it back out and reasserted the kneecap. Yep. Oof. Whew. Spent all of kindergarten in a cast after they put, um, put, ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. Worst of has bruised my tailbone. Ooh, saved my baby brother's life after our cat tripped us. Oh my gosh. Good on you for saving him. One year on Christmas Day, I got thrown off a snow tube and cut my scalp. Ooh. Didn't need stitches, but was washing. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. We're sharing injuries. I guess so. Yeah, I'm sorry if anybody's squeamish. I didn't really think about that. Sorry, y'all. Medical stuff is just, like, very normal to me. Um, I'm going to share something very real right now, so uh, guard your ears if you are unprepared. Um, my dad has uh, a lot of medical issues, and I'm like, like, really scary things happen pretty much every other year. So uh, he lost, like, uh, doppelganger yeah I'm sorry we're going over some we're going over some injuries and stuff oh wait it's time for the fair we'll get back to that <laughs> let's have a fun time at the fair and not talk about death and <laughs> illness trade in your star tokens for prizes I don't have none Well, Caitlin, it is the big day, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a grain display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you set up everything, we can get you to the judging. Where is it? Where is my play? I complain about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. Where's my thing? Hey, Caitlin. Having a good time? Slingshot 10 is pretty fun. And if you get good at it, you can really rack up the star tokens. It's kind of hectic today. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. All right, moody boy. Where's my thing? 
I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud to be a part of. Robin really works hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. I want to talk to you. Wait, where am I supposed to put my stuff, Louis? Tourist. It was a long rest bus ride here, but totally worth it. This valley is so beautiful. Simon loves it, don't you, Simon? Where is my- ah, oh, that's me. This is the weirdest display of things. There. such beautiful displays and I was like do you want fish or amaranth or a flower maybe some bok choy tried my best but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's oh stop it Marnie wow that's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen very impressive are you setting up a grange display Caitlin it's your chance to show off all the good produce from Mustache. Well, yeah, I did. I feel like Lewis is gonna judge me. All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. <laughs> Function over fashion! <laughs> it's the waifu, I know. Uh, the music does give a little Zelda vibes, a little bit. And look at these happy chickens. I handpecked my little finger. Boo. Just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. I've got some soul searching to do. <laughs> you gonna be vegetarian now? Hi, Lewis. These animals never judge people by their looks. Same can't be said for humans. Linus, you're great. <laughs> My roommate's a black belt in Kempo. Anyway, I came to say hi, I gotta go to bed. Okay, good night, doppelganger. Steal the cheese wheel. I don't think I can. That doesn't sound... Uh, that doesn't sound right to me, you know? Oh man, this takes over the whole area, doesn't it? Ah, oh, yes, my crystal ball is swirling with visions of your future, young one. Let's see what this says. Mm, I say you laying on a cot. Looks like a hospital. Linus is there to keep you company while you recover. What a nice friend. Now I see you and Abigail in a field of grass. You seem happy. The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. Ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. Do you make sure to put the purple boxer into the soup when you can? I don't have it. Wilwick and I have known each other for a long time. She's a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Dots. That clown. I know him from somewhere. Was it a school of illusion? Maybe the carnival of secrets? Hmm. I have to talk to everyone. I, I must know what is happening. <laughs> okay. He doesn't look very happy. Guess Mary Lewis had to cut costs with a budget clown this year. You know, I would have made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. Hi, Pam. Better hurry up, kid. Before, Pam, before old Pam here fishes every last lunker out of the tent. Hey. 
I will win big. What do I do? Is this it? Oh my god. It's actually a... Okay, it's a timed event. Actually a timed event. Okay. You seemed more challenging, but then you weren't. I'm trying. Ooh. It looked like it wanted to get more complicated, but then it didn't. Fish! Fish like I've never fished before! I must catch every fish. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Ruining my perfect score! Oh my god, this will probably be the last fish I have! No, I need the perfect scores. Like ever. Maybe you have and just didn't realize it? Wait, what did I not realize? Oh, the purple boxers? Maybe? Yeah, probably didn't register. Maybe. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> oh my god, please. Please, let me catch this fish. No, you're gonna stop my timer! No! 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 Oh, they let it finish. Nice. 119, that's not bad, right? Fish caught six. 199 perfection bonus! I wonder how many star tokens I need to do things for this festival. Have you been to the fortune teller? She set up her stand in the graveyard. I already saw her. She told me something interesting. <laughs> I played the strength game too many times and now my arms feel like rubber. I already beat all the games. Now what? Step right up, pick a color, and place your bet for the chance to win double your wager! Oh, I don't even know what color he picks. I forget. No! Oh, I won. Yay! <laughs> I thought I- I don't even know what I picked. Wait, was I- but I won, right? I won. <laughs> okay, Lynn, this has been lovely, but I'm gonna go work on going to sleep uh, for stuff I'm doing a little early in the morning. Take it easy, everybody. Good night, JP. Thanks for hanging out. Um, always bet orange. Oh, good to know. Oh, no. Oh, I won. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I'm like that every time. Lol. Uh, let's see. Penny. I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. He's very rude. It's a fine looking town you got here. That's a cozy, real sense of community. Selling star tokens for just 50 G a piece. I'm just gonna play that star game for a thousand years. What's this? Slingshot game and win tokens? I'm probably gonna fail at this oh I am not doing well okay okay not good at the slingshot game got it Ooh. okay all right we don't have to rub it in everyone This is their, uh, their way of being like, sorry that you're really bad at this game. <laughs> Alright, well, you live and you learn. That wasn't very good. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> 14 out of... 
Fine. No reward. Try harder. Ow. But why not give me some stars? Slingshot game does suck. I don't want to go back. We'll try this again. We'll bet orange. And we'll go. Let's do 50 and see what happens. I'll just play the fishing game again. <laughs> Okay. Slingshot is rough. It really is. That made me sad. Hey, you guys were right! Okay, so that doesn't give me anything. Fishing game has always been easiest for me to hoard tokens. <laughs> Good to know. I haven't even seen what I need to do uh, for this. Every time I see someone playing Stardew, it feels like it's uh, the part of the JRPG before the village burns down. You embark on an adventure for revenge. <laughs> S-Ranker, thank you for the 300 bits. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it kind of does. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I don't want to... Oh my gosh, why do you need so much? What should I even buy? Is it worth it to buy anything? Try out the strongman game? Okay, I'll do that. I'm about that. What? What? How, what am I messing up here? Get the star drop? You need the star drop. Perma energy upgrade? Got it. What am I supposed to do? Mountain troll. Orc. Damn it. Gorilla. Mammoth. I'll take it. I literally replayed the fishing game until I got the tokens for the the drop. That's fair. Ah, okay. Oh, good night, Surma. Okay, I'll go I'll go fish then. I'll just fish like the wind. As fast as I can fish, I will. Thankfully, they're giving me kind of easy fish. Why is it being weird? More helpful advice, you can buy tokens or focus through something you're good at, like fishing. Yeah, I'll probably just focus on fishing. I spent a lot of time doing it. Oh my god, are you for real? Fish are all easy to catch. That's true. Oh, wow, really? 500 tokens for the slingshot game? <laughs> See, that's tempting. But at the same time, I'm much better at just catching fish. <laughs> I'm sure if I, if I had the patience to... Um, ooh! Thank you for the follow. I'm sorry, I can't look right now. I'm catching a fish. Steph Odell! Thank you for the follow. Shirt twin. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine just doing fishing. This is my chill hang anyway. I don't know why I have to do a head bob to imply that it's chill and a hang, but I am. Ooh, jumpy, jumpy, jumpy fellow. What's up? Hey, whoa, hey, hey, hey. Stop, stop. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. How do you like this? Oh. Fish do valley. <laughs> That's what I think of when I see that face. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'd only need to play that, what, like... Two more times? Three more times? 
If I can get some solid fish options there. Ooh, sorry that scared me. Uh, Pela Pelahachi? Oh my god. Thank you for the fall. I kept clicking out. I wish there was a better way for me to see everything. On my screen! Streamlabs used to show me in chat, like when someone followed or something, for, but for whatever reason it doesn't do that anymore. Because I like to address everyone. I know I could buy the tokens, but it's just so many dollars. I want to get it at max and see what that does. Okay. Just wondering if different areas do different things or is it just like where your bobber lands it's already predetermined I'm assuming you're one of those little gray fish aren't you yep gambling is the fastest oh for the uh, the um, what is it the chance the green and orange thing Sorry, that fish moved really quickly and I wasn't expecting it. Ooh. Not very good that round. <laughs> Distance fishing doesn't matter. Oh, really? Hmm. We're almost there. I think, like, if I can get two more rounds that are, like, pretty solid in, then I can be done with the fish. Don't let anyone else convince you otherwise. I spent hours getting here, uh fishing to get tokens. Oh, thank you for the posture check. I lean over terribly sometimes. Ah -ha -ha. You can cast right at your feet and still catch. Oh, it like messed up before where I tried to do that. And then it was like, ha ha, you didn't cast your rod into anything. Then I was sad. Ooh, look at it go. I wonder if you have a better rod that it like hits faster. That would be nice. I don't know. But I have nothing ooh, to prove that at all. Oh, I guess it should be said. Um, so Resident Evil 8 Village comes out in May and I have every intention of playing that <sighs> on Fridays when, that's, when that happens. Cause I think it's available on Steam. So I'm gonna do that pretty much as soon as I can. <laughs> It's gonna be great. Ooh. Ah. Well, I guess you have to have already, your fish has to have already started, I guess. Yes. Ah, it's still gonna take two more games though. That's okay. Sounds like a wonderful bad idea. Oh, village? Yeah, it's gonna be a time. I haven't played something that like really scared the crap out of me though. <laughs> like, uh, and kind of a reason I haven't is this project that I'm on. I cannot mess up my voice right now. I need it to be functional because I'm recording like almost every day right now. And thankfully it's not strenuous or anything. Um, but if I were to yell for three or four hours, then I probably wouldn't be able to go right back to working, which would not work. 
But I'm done at the end of this month, so then uh, I could scream all I want. Well, some, a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking about playing Evo Land 2 uh, probably next week if I'm honest with myself. I don't have a super <clears throat> I don't have a super intensive work schedule tomorrow um, but roomies have sessions during the day and I don't want to um, use up bandwidth. You can scream if you want to. You can leave your job behind. I cannot! <laughs> I've been working on this project since mid-February. I would be devastated <laughs> if I couldn't work on it anymore. Can't wait for Lady D to suplex me into the floor. <laughs> I found this um this like Russian model who's six foot nine, who cosplayed um, Dimitrescu. She did a very good job. She was like a basketball player and now she's a model. Oh, I'm so close! Oh shoot, okay. I wanted to walk forward but I wanted my team more. I forget who said that I was making them want tea, but all they have is black tea. Go out and get yourself some decaffeinated tea. Then you can have tea whenever you want. It's great. I had green tea way too late in the day, and that's why I'm very awake still. I'm sure I'll wind down before long. In dude, yes. I knew it was somebody. Get you some decaffeinated tea, in dude. Then you can have sleepy time tea or tension tamer tea. I love tension tamer. That's what I'm very into right now. The fishing is very satisfying in this game. It really is. <laughs> yeah, Tension Tamer is amazing. I have been drinking a lot of that lately. Tension, what's that? <laughs> Wonder if there's a tea that makes you more stress. Well, depending on how much caffeine you drink, that could definitely make you more stressed out. I can't drink coffee very much because it stresses me out. Like, it makes my anxiety go woo! I still drink it. <laughs> I had some today. That was mainly because I was tired and being grumpy because I didn't want to do some work. Well, I got enough for the star fruit now. Woohoo! That would be the energy tea that Celestial Seasonings made. Oh, really? Is that a thing? Yes. found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of D&D. Your maximum energy level has increased. Nice. I love how you just trip balls in front of this lady in a pink cowboy hat. Good for you. Okay, so I can only get one. How many points do I have? I can get like a green rug. I'll get a green rug for my house and then I'll be done. How about that? And then Lewis can judge my stuff all he wants. For me, coffee equals life. Hey, I feel it. Ah, coffee used to be my every day. I was a barista at a coffee shop for a while, for a couple years actually. That made me very coffee snobbish. I love it though. Just makes me real anxious, so I try not to drink it too often. But a good cup of coffee, ah, oh, nothing like it. Infinite cosmic power. I mean, what else do you do at the fair but trip out in front of ladies in purple cowboy hats? <laughs> That's not safe. Don't do that. I'm not condoning that behavior, guys. 
Brew the energy tree with five hour energy. That should stress you out. <laughs> Don't do that. Itty bitty living space. I had to cut caffeine out of my diet completely, so I'm always looking for tasty non-caffeinated teas. I found some nice herbal teas. Yeah, tension taper is really good. Um, sleepy time tea is good. Uh, constant comment makes a decaffeinated version. Uh, I will look in just a moment. Thank you for the follow. Um, wah, 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 wah. I'm trying to think of what other teas I have that I really enjoy. Um, Laura Stahl was talking about, I think it was called Birchwood or something. She said Cozy Rosie was really good. I'm usually not a rose tea fan, but I could be persuaded. Hit, 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 hit. Come on, come on. Don't disqualify me now. I'm already on the, I've already got the fish on the line. It's already on the line. Yes. Amazing. Thought you were about to transform into a Sailor Moon character. You know what? Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. Well, that was a lot of star tokens. Praise the caffeine gods. Praise them. All right, give me a rug. Can I buy more stuff? Oh my God, I can buy more stuff. Um, I like that, that's cute. Pepper poppers. Pepper poppers. What about the rare crow? One of eight. Aw, oh, why did I? I definitely don't want a fedora. You know what? Oh, someone said the rare crow is cute, so I'm gonna do one more. One more. Also, this mini game only comes once a year, right? <laughs> The rare crows can only be bought at certain places. Okay. Good to know. Then I will do that. I still need one more rare crow. It's an alien. Also, it's turnip head. All right, you're right. You're right. You're you're right. You're right. You're right. I love me some house moving castles. So. Oh. That makes me miss my friend uh, Daphne a lot. She's in Singapore. We had her on the podcast. Um, to talk about Howl's Moving Castle. And I actually read the book just because I was really curious. There's a lot of differences in the book. I feel like I should do a little video essay on how different it is and why I think it still works. It's an adapt- the, uh, the Ghibli movie is an adaptation of a book and it changes so many things and makes everyone a lot more regal than they actually are. But I like what they did. Singapore! I know. The author was very disappointed with the movie. Really? I had seen something where she was like thrilled and had figurines about it in her in her house. But that could just be because she's like getting royalties. <laughs> Wait, no. It might be a different one. Cause yeah, the, I remember watching something about the author for Howl's Moving Castle. And she was, like, thrilled about it. Oh gosh, come on, bite. Bite, 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 bite! Yes! Oh! oh, that was so close, I almost didn't get it. Might be mixing it up with Earthsea. Maybe. Or wasn't Earth Earthsea was that movie that came out not that long ago, right? Oh, Theropod Art! Hi! Welcome, Raiders! How you doing? Thank you for the raid, Theropod. Hello, hello! My name is Caitlin. Uh, I'm a voice actress. You have heard me in things like Monster Hunter Rise and Little Witch Academia and... Oh my goodness, Gravy Boats! Cake Boss 419 thank you for the follow. Um, you know what? I'll just put my little thingy bob in chat. That's me, that's some stuff I do. Um, you can follow me all over the socials. <laughs> Notifications scare me. <laughs> Shiva Goddess, thank you for the follow. Um, uh, yes, if you watch the Unexpectables at all, I am Cynthia. Ooh, <laughs> kitty cat gun of 81, thank you for the, the host. 
Um, no worries, Therapod. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, you play Cynthia. I've been meaning to track down your Twitch. CookiePusher99, thank you for the follow. Uh, also, if you watch... Blah, 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 if you watch Roll With Me on um, twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator, I played the very murderous Drow Nara. Um, let's see. What else do I, what else do, I do? Uh, those are the big ones, right? I think. <sighs> There's more. You ask, I'll tell. Okay, I'm gonna have to play it one more time. I'm very close. I just want to get my rare crow. We were just discussing how he's a turnip head. <laughs> Thank you, Shiva. Nara is a murderous bean. Also, I forgot Nara was a thing. Shit, sorry. That's okay. Things float in and out of our consciousness all the time. You are good. We were just reminiscing about Albino Black Sheep and Homestar Runner and... Uh, was it E-Bomb's World and Newgrounds and... We were nostalgia-ing hard. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then... JK... That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, the nostalgia is real. <laughs> what Netflix scripts have you gotten to work on? Oh, golly. <laughs> well, I also do adaptation and stuff. So, um, I've worked on The Innocents. Uh, I adapted some of the scripts for that. Willie and the Guardians of Winter Lake, I think was a... Uh... Oh, shoot. Willie and the Guardians... Um, I did the adaptation for the script on that and also voiced some stuff in it. Um, I did the live action voice for Lust in the Full Metal Alchemist movie and for the English version. Um, oh gosh, Berlin, Berlin. A lot of things. <laughs> Bunch of random stuff. I'm working on a, a big project right now, which I can't talk about yet, but I'm very excited. Because I was, I was, I never mind. I can't say anything. I'll break my own NDAs. I grew up watching Homestar Runner, right? Um, it was the Full Metal Alchemist live action dub, so um, it, I was just providing the English voice for um the dub of the live action Full Metal Alchemist movie that Netflix did. I still don't have enough. I wasn't paying attention. If I'm, that's what happened. <laughs> Don't you worry, that's okay. A lot of people had that reaction. I watched it just because I was curious uh, before uh, before we did the dub. And there are some things that are just hilarious in that movie. All I'll say is watching Gluttony Run is like the best thing ever. Just, it's really the best. If you watch it looking to be entertained, then you will be entertained. That's all I will say. Thought so. You're good until you finish your current project. Yeah. It'll be the end of this month, though, so hopefully I can talk about it sooner than later. But hey, Monster Hunter Rise happened. I was very excited to get to be a hunter in that. Uh, voice type 19 for those of you who are making characters right now. Um, Eternal Return, Black Survival. I play Adela. Fantasy Online, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. I play Ludmilla. There's all sorts of things that have come out recently. Smite, Paladins, Realm Royal. Bunch of stuff. Which feels crazy to say. Because I feel like I just started doing voiceover, but that was like five years ago now, so... Life happens fast. Yeah, it was not faithful to the source. Oh, yeah. How time flies. Oh, I know. Oh, why'd I do that? Oh, it's too late now. Goodbye. I have not heard of Myth of the Fallen Lords, but I am curious about what that is. Feels like Caitlyn voices characters in every game I don't play. Don't worry. I'll eventually be in them. Well, I'm also in Genshin Impact. I'm in Wasteland 3. Um, Lord, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the others. I really can't. Rare Crow. 
I'm not buying a, I'm not buying a fedora. Don't want it. All right. Wait, is there stuff up here? Oh, this is part of it too. <gasps> oh, look at all these people. Eat as much as you'd like. It's all free today. Compliments of Mayor Lewis. Oh. I'm trying to get Gus to tell me his sauce recipe, but he won't budge. <laughs> I don't know why Fabian cracks me up. I mean, I can't take another bite of this barbecue sandwich. So stuffed. Mm, this barbecue sauce is amazing. Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm Brigitte and Avil. It's an old Bungie RTS game. Dark Fantasy kind of XP uh, a black company. It's the first Monster Hunter game I've played. I'm very excited to main Gunlance. Ooh, nice. Free survival burgers. <laughs> Didn't know Bungie made an RTS in the before Halo days. Now I'm hungry. Oh, S Ranker. Thank you for the 95 bits. Last of my bits. About to hop off to sleep. Good night, y'all. Good night, S Ranker. Thank you so much for hanging out and thank you so much for the support. It's so good to see you in chat. I hope you're doing okay. You say it like <laughs> Brigitte in the game, I think. Ooh, Brigitte. Oh, did I? Oh, Smith. <laughs> thank you so much for the host. Oh my gosh, I almost X'd out OBS. <laughs> that would have been fun, wouldn't it? Okay, let's do this uh, thing. Oh, are you already finished setting up your Grange display? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, good luck. He's gonna judge me. Your southern accent in Gateway is so good it makes my natural southern accent come out something fierce. It's been a few times I'd catch us on an episode, then get on a call or go to class, people would be like, why are you talking weird? <laughs> Your grain display has been judged. Return to Mary Lewis for the result. Well, thank you, Cookie Pusher. I did work on my southern accent a little bit. I do have Brigid. I should build her up. If you want. <laughs> good morning, Smitha. Or, yeah. Good evening, good night. Congratulations, you won first place with a rating of 90. Your prize is a thousand star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, and don't forget to clean out your Grange display box. So I guess I'm buying a fedora. I don't know what else to do with it. She's out of stock now. Yay, a wind! Well. I'm not gonna have enough space for all this. Am I? No, I am. I'm fine. Man, I'm glad I emptied out my inventory, though. Why can't I talk to you? I can't believe I lost. Because my farm is amazing. Well, I didn't win, but it was still satisfying to share all my hard work. Wow, got a low score. Guess Mary Lewis isn't much of a fishman. Oh well. Always talk weird, spook them. No one wants to talk to me anymore. They're like, you won. We don't care about you any longer. I was just trying my best. My pirate festival? Do you know I'm a real pirate, don't you? Wait, what? You're a pirate? Are you a pirate? <laughs> anyway, the reason I brought up Myth is that I found a copy of the second one, and holy crap, is it in desperate need of some modern attention. You're her. You're her fiddle -dee. For abandoned wear. Oh no! So yes, it looks fun. Ah, that's funny. <gasps> oh. 
Thank you to Salt Strive for the follow. How do I end this day? Pierre is very serious about its Grange display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. I don't know how it didn't rot. I think I have a bug. Can I leave now? Oh, I just go home? Okay. <laughs> Neat. All right, well, that's cool. You know what? I'm gonna say something that's gonna be very sad, but I should probably go to bed. <gasps> Scared me. Duffman, 27350, uh, thank you for the follow. Put it right here. I don't know why I want it here, but I do. Right there. Look at that. It's a beautiful rug. Where can I put this? Oh, it's large. This is very large. I'll put it in my room. Brighten the place up a little. By my bed in the corner. That's fine. Hi, Denier. Cannot move a bed that is currently being used. I'll put my pepper poppers in the fridge. Go to sleep. Also become rocket. I forgot I have a cake in here. I thought that said Autumn's butt. <laughs> There's three cakes in here. Got a lot of cake. Oh wait, I can sell this mayo. Yeah, I should go to bed. It's already almost two in the morning. Huh. <laughs> Mm, yeah. I can sell some of these gold star things. I'll keep the fish. Oh, are you getting sleepy? Yeah, it is kind of late, huh? I have a bad habit of, like, tiring out my poor baby. Do 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 No, I missed it. Was it amazing? Did you play amazing music with it yet? <laughs> Pyrociter, thank you so much for the hundred bits. No. So what happened was they sent me the wrong one. <laughs> they sent me an Agretzko one. And I ordered a Gudetama one. So I haven't played anything yet. And also I don't have batteries. So I have to get batteries <laughs> before I get the Gudetama one. Um, but this is what it looks like. And it will just have a Gudetama head when I get the correct one. Um, but I have to email Amazon and be like, you didn't give me the right one. Hmm. But now that it's coming. <laughs> All right. Well, I probably should go to bed because that's the right and responsible thing for me to do. Lay sigh. I would love to stay up longer and chat and everything else, but I should be a responsible adult about my life, which makes me the sad, but I should. I know. I will. And I, I, I'm, like, figuring out my schedule. I'm actually, like, on task with my schedule, finally. It's a really grueling production schedule, and I had some really heavy weeks um, in the middle of all of it. I'm <laughs> supposed to be responsible since when? I know, I know. Um, but let's see. Oh my gosh, it is pretty late, so there's not a lot of people on. That is amazing. I expect a concert announcement soon. Sleep well. I will. I will finish my um, 
my tea. Oh, but I can set up. Um, I see that my my pal Star Bitsy is on. She, I met her through conventions a really long time ago, and um, she lives in Japan. She does a lot of really cool IRL streaming of what it's like to live in Japan. Um, I don't know where she's at right now, so I guess we're just gonna pop in on her life and see how things are over there. Um, but go over there and give her uh, give her some love from me. Uh, star Bitsy Chan. Weep. That'll work, right? Is the Discord link being weird? <gasps> you know what? I need to change that. If you go to nerdon.tv slash discord go to that link and that should take you over there. I need to change my commands. Some of them are a little old and not being cooperative when they should be. So I'm sorry. Yeah, we we our dot io um, account was changed, so that's probably why it's been uncooperative for a while. I'm so sorry, you guys. But yeah, <laughs> well there you go. There's there's our podcast uh, podcast Discord. I don't have a personal Discord because that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, night boss trip him. Sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, all right. I'm gonna go to bed. Here's me taking my last sip of tea. Hope you all get some good sleep. Take care of yourselves. I'll probably be back um, hopefully tomorrow. Just kind of depends on how the day goes. Uh, but if nothing else, I will be over at the Nerd on Twitch on Friday at 7 or 8 p.m. PST for some Valheim. Have a good night, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.